Welcome back, my loves, and if you're new, welcome. I'm Andrea, and welcome to Life As I Know It. Today, we're going to make a Halloween wreath using dollar store products. So sit back, relax, grab a drink, and enjoy this DIY Halloween wreath. We're going to take this 18 inch wreath that we got from the dollar store and some Chanel stems. So this wreath has three rows. So on the first row and the third row, we're going to put our Chanel stems. So that would be the inner row and the outer row that we're going to put our Chanel stems. Now, if you want to, you can always put one on each row. So we're just going to go around and put our Chanel stems on the frame. So you just open it up and twist it around two to three times real tight, and then just move on to your next Chanel stem. Now, once you have all your Chanel stems on the frame, you can always go back and put a dot of hot glue on there to secure the stems to the actual frame. Now, you don't have to do this because once you go ahead and put your netting inside of the wreath, it might slide a little bit, but it's not really going to go anywhere. But if you want to give it away if for a gift or you just want to secure it, just add a little hot glue to the Chanel stem. We're going to take the black mesh and take it through the frame and leave the end out and we're just going to go ahead and take the chanel stem and wrap it around our black mesh and then we're going to go ahead and make a loop and take it to the next chanel stem and do the exact same thing you can make your poofs wide or you can make them small so all we're going to do is go ahead and take our mesh from one chanel stem tie it tight make a poof into the next Chanel stem and go around the frame. Now we got this mesh from Hobby Lobby. It was 5.5 by 10 yards and it was 5.99 and we used two. So depending on the type of mesh that you use will determine whether or not you have to use multi rolls. But since this is an 18 inch frame, you definitely gonna need at least two. Even though we're adding more mesh and ribbons to it, you definitely still just want to go ahead and use two rows.
Now, the same way we added the black mesh, we're going to add the orange mesh to our wreath. Now, we got the orange mesh from Dollar Tree. We used four rolls. It was six by five yards. So all you do is the exact same thing. You take the orange mesh ribbon through the frame, tie it down. Now, once we have all our mesh ribbon on the frame, we go back, we can secure those ends or you can cut them off. So now we're gonna go ahead and add our orange mesh ribbon the same way we added the black. We're gonna take it through the frame, tie it down with Chanel stem, and then we're gonna go ahead and start our loops. And we're gonna take our loops all the way around until we run out of mesh ribbon. We're gonna tie that down because we're using smaller rolls. That means we're gonna to have to tie it down, start another roll, and continue that. So we're using four of these rolls from the Dollar Tree. Now, as you continue to put your orange mesh ribbon in your frame, sometimes when you work with mesh ribbon, it really doesn't look like you're making anything. But once you have all your mesh ribbon on the frame and you start adding your picks and your ribbons and your signs, it really does come alive. So just go ahead and continue to add the mesh ribbon in your frame. And once we have all the black and orange mesh ribbon, we're gonna put this aside and we're going to go ahead and start working on our ribbons that we're going to add into our wreath. Now this ribbon right here came from the dollar store. I believe this is the first year that they had this particular ribbon, which is black with the orange trimming. It's three yards, and we're going to use three rolls. And we're going to cut our ribbon to 12 inches. So for each roll that we use, we'll just go ahead and cut it down to 12 inches until we run out of our ribbon.
Now we're going to go ahead and duct tape the ends of our ribbon. So what we're going to do is fold our ribbon in half and we're going to go ahead and cut the end. So we're going to cut the ends going upward so that way when you open the ribbon, it's like a ducktail because it's open. Now if you cut it and it's not open, just fold it and do it the opposite direction. Now you can fold the one piece of ribbon in half and then fold it and cut it so that way you're doing it one time instead of two times on the ribbon but you can make the decision whether or not you want to do it that way you don't have to cut the ends but i think when you cut the ends this way it does make your ribbon look a little nicer when it's inside of your wreath so we're going to go ahead and duct tail all our ribbon so in total we're using four rolls of ribbon that are three yards a piece that we got from the dollar store Now we're going to add our ribbon to our wreath. So we're going to take a Chanel stem, open it up. We're going to take our orange and black ribbon and place it over the sheer black and orange. And then we're going to pinch it. And then we're going to place it right inside of the Chanel stem. And we're going to twist it two times. And then we're going to go ahead to our next Chanel stem. Now we're not going to cut the stems off just yet because we're going to add something else to our wreath. Now, you can go ahead and flip-flop the ribbons if you want to. Every other one you can do it. Or if you want to make their inner side with the one design and then the outer side with the other ribbon, you can. Remember, this is your decor. Use what colors go with your decorations that you're putting out. So we're just going to go ahead and take our ribbon and go all the way around the wreath. Now these leaves came from the dollar store. These were new this year. They have them sparkle with silver, orange, or purple. So they give me three different colors to pick from. So all we're gonna do is go ahead and cut our leaves up, but we're also gonna take a little hot glue and add it to the tips of each leaf because they do fall off. So once we have all our leaves secured to the actual stem, then we're going to cut them up and add them to our wreath. Now we're going to go ahead and open our Chanel stem and we're going to use that to tie around our leaves. So you just open it up, place the leaf inside, making sure that the branch of the leaf is going through the wreath. And then we're just going to go ahead and wrap that Chanel stem down and secure it. If you want to, you can add a little hot glue. But we're just going to go ahead and go around and add our leaves to our wreath.
So as we're adding our leaves, I did use three in the beginning. As we go through, I am going to add some more at the end. But for the beginning part on this one side, I just used three. Now we're going to add our sign that we got from the Dollar Tree onto this wreath. So I pretty much put all the leaves to the left side because I knew that I wanted to add my sign on the right. So I wanted to make sure I had enough leaves going around. And then we're just going to go ahead and add our sign. Once you have your sign on, you can decide then whether or not you want to add some more um, leaves to the reef. So I have to apologize for some reason, I did not film me just gluing down the Chanel stems to the back of our sign. So what you're gonna see me do is add the Chanel stems to the back of the sign, and then that's it. So all I'm gonna do is add hot glue to each Chanel stem, I'm gonna put four, and then I'm gonna take little popsicle sticks and add them to the back of the frame. Well, I realize now what I should have did was just show you the back of it before I added it on, but I didn't realize till later that I didn't do it. So once we have the Chanel stems attached to the back of our sign, we're just going to take them through the reef and then tie them to the back part of the reef. Now you can use popsicle sticks or any little piece of wood that you have just to secure the Chanel stem to the back of the sign. I just want to make sure it would hold. You can add a lot of hot glue or you can just use something else just to make sure that it stays attached to the Chanel stems. Now the black and silver pumpkins are new this year to Dollar Tree. They did have them last year, but they were the candy cone color so these are black silver and white we're going to go ahead and take the pumpkin right off the stick we're going to add some hot glue to the bottom of it and we're going to attach it to our reef we're so we're going to take the chanel stem open it up and go ahead and place that pumpkin right on top of it so this wherever you put these pumpkins that's where you're going to go ahead and cut this chanel stem so it won't stand up or you can take the Chanel stem and wrap it to the bottom of the frame. So I have three pumpkins. We're going to add all three to our wreath. So I decided to add another pick. So what I'm going to do is take the whole pick through the frame. I'm going to take the ends of the pick. I'm going to wrap it around the metal frame. And then I'm going to take one of the Chanel stems and place the flowers on top of it. And then wrap the Chanel stem around it to keep it secure. And then just go ahead and fluff out the ribbons to cover that up. And that's how we're just going to add our new picks to it. So I like the way this looks and I think I'm going to add one more pick to the left side of the house. Now the same thing we did with the flowers at the bottom, we're going to go ahead and do it on the left side. I'm going to go ahead and take the leaves, take them all the way through the frame and then I'm going to take the end 
and wrap it around the frame. Now, you can go ahead and take a Chanel stem if you want to and secure it that way. But once I wrap them around the frame, they're really not going to move. But if you're going to give this away, then I would go ahead and suggest if you want to put the Chanel stem around them to secure them in place, you can. Now to cover up this hole, you can put a leaf on top, you can make a bow. I even thought about putting little bumblebees around it, but I think I'm just going to go back to the dollar store and find something else to cover it up with. But once we fluff out all our leaves and our ribbon, we are done with this easy DIY Halloween wreath. And as you can see, I covered up that hole. I went to Dollar Tree and got a orange spider with glitter all over it that was on a clip. I took that clip and placed it right through the hole and you can't even tell it was there. Well, my loves, thank you for stopping by and spending time with me. If you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you can go on this journey with us and become a part of our YouTube family. And if you're a returning, you are truly appreciated and I'm very thankful for you. I want everyone to have a blessed day. Remember, it costs nothing to be kind. Don't forget to hit that like button because that helps my channel to grow. And we'll see you in our next video. Bye for now.